people wear masks and some people don't wear masks. Mm-hmm. I was on the plane coming home from Hawaii, and I always feel like I'm, I don't wear masks, but I always feel, and I was saying this actually before COVID, I was like, I don't want to wear a mask on a plane. And I should have wore a mask on the airplane. I didn't wear a mask. And yesterday, I started to feel a tickle on my throat. And now I'm kind of like, Phil really knows. I went and I got a vitamin drip yesterday, and I'm like, dang it, I should have wore a mask on the airplane. You know, it was packed. Mm-hmm. But I, hopefully, I, I'm beating. I just got a really nose. I don't know. But yeah, I feel fear. like that's going around. Like, yeah. Scott, my husband has that. My son has it. Were they on the plane? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just feel germs. like it's going around. Yeah. You know? It's nothing serious yet. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's yeah. not like anything. It's not like I'm coffee or anything. I just feel like, okay. So I called my friend over at the vitamin drip place, uh, Mike, and he came over yesterday, gave me the drip, and I'm just hoping that it you know, usually kicks in. But I have to tell you something. So my, I'm getting the vitamin drip. My sister calls me yesterday. So... My sister, you know, I'm half Mexican, and I'm, I have a huge Mexican family, and there's always reunions, there's always things going on, and I don't really, I talk to like two people on my Mexican side of my family. My sister's involved. She's at every freaking reunion. She's everywhere, and she lives in Los Angeles. She lives in Santa Monica, and I have a couple of Mexican cousins in the LA area, and my sister's always sending me selfies with them, and she's always hanging out with them, right? And sometimes... One of my cousins will pop up at the iHeartRadio Music Festival and message me, "Hey, I'm at that festival. Where are you?" And I'll like, uh, I'll be like, "Oh, just seeing this after I'm home." <laughs> you know? oh, man. So, uh, my sister she messaged me yesterday and she's like, "Hey, I went to our cousins. They, they had some party over the weekend." Um, I, I, can't, I wish I would remember to listen to the beginning of her call because my sister, you know, yaps a lot. She's like, <laughs> so I'm, I'm out. She's at, she's at our cousin's house and they're. They're pretty successful. They have a, they, they live in Brentwood, which is a very nice area. And she goes, they had this party, a little get together. She was, and there was this couple there, and they had the cutest little girl. And she's a little redhead girl. She goes, she kept staring at the redhead girl. <laughs> she said, she goes, I wanted to take a picture of her. She's so pretty. She goes, remind me so much of Kemp, who Kemp's the redheaded boy. But, she's, but the girl is so pretty. She goes, and then I catch the husband staring at me, like, like looking at me weird. Staring at me because I'm staring at the daughter, right? <laughs> my sister says. She goes, but then this husband, she goes, I get this look like the husband's staring at me as if I know who he is, right? But my sister's like, I don't know who he is, but I can tell that he's irritated with me is what my sister says. So later, my sister's calling me because my cousin just got off the phone with her, and he was the founder of Snapchat. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. wow. He's worth, Evan Spiegel? No, what? Bobby, Bobby, the other guy. There's oh, two yeah, guys. there's two guys. Bobby okay. and Evan, and That's it was Bobby cool. Bobby That's and his funny. wife, and they have a little redheaded <laughs> daughter, and her, the wife's name is Kate um, Bateman, I think is her name. So they were there at this party. The guy's worth like $4 billion, and so I think the guy might have thought my sister knew who he was. And wasn't saying it or was wasn't whatever. And she was, yeah, my sister was just like, what a beautiful oh, little girl you have. Yeah. Uh-huh. My nephew has red hair. Because red hair is different. You know, like, there's different kinds of red hair, and I guess the little redhead kid had hair like like Kemp, because his hair is different. So anyway, she's all la-la land about the little daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, I found it's the founder of Snapchat. Isn't that oh hilarious? Oh my gosh, that is so so He's like, who's this person? Is she scoping out my kid to kidnap her? Yeah, I know. Idea? And I get it if I'm him. Yeah. You're He's like, what the hell? Bill. I'm worth. I'm one of the richest men in the world. Right. And this, will, this psychopath is staring at me. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway. And then my sister's like, it's because I'm going to L.A. to see my nephew play football Friday. And she's like, and I told him I made a mistake and told me you're coming. I'm like, no. No. She goes, yeah, so they might come to the game. I'm like. I'm not sitting there. I want to watch my nephew play. I don't want to sit there and chat with people. And she's like, well, they might have something else going on and they can't go to the game. Okay, good. I don't want to. Yeah, but you know how that's going to be with your family. You won't know. And then they'll all descend so I'll upon be there, you. So I'm yeah. going to be there. Uh, but, <laughs> um, so I forgot to tell you guys a story. I couldn't believe it at the end of the show yesterday. So much happened, you know, because I was in Honolulu. I was taking Kemp, my son, going to the university there. One of the things that happened is it was uh, we took the, a couple of guys that, uh, from the team out to dinner. And then they left, and then Dutch had a little, like, a cough. So um, Blake was like, let's stop by the drugstore and get some cough syrup. So it was like a Long's drugstore is what they have there. She was pulling here. Here's the Long's right here. And she goes, I'll just jump out, and I'll go get uh, the cough syrup. But I'm like, okay. So I pull it in the parking lot, right? And I, I'm in the parking lot. You know how you, you just pull it in the front of the, of the store, and she jumps out. And I go, and I'm like, it'll be a second, so I'll just drive around, or I'll find a space for a little bit. And as I'm pulling around, I see a guy like in a, in a car with the front door open, and his arm is sticking out. 
right? And he's like passed out with his arms sticking out, like as if the dude was overdosing on heroin or something, oh, right? That oh, just so scary. you get that, just so you get that vibe. That's the right. Mm-hmm. I'm like, whoa, look at this guy. And it was dark. I'm like, whoa, what's going on here? So then I pull around to the front, and all of a sudden I see like, some guy run out of the longs, screaming and yelling, and each, and, a, and a woman being chased out of the longs. I'm like, whoa, what, what? And, and I look at Dutch. I go. Jump in there real quick and go see if your mom's okay. So Dutch runs in and check this out. At the exact same time my wife was in the Long's drugstore, there were three different unrelated robberies at the same time. What? Somebody went in with a golf club and tried to rob the place. At the same time, a woman was stealing Clorox and detergent. And at the same time, someone was trying to rob the register at this all at the same time where she was standing in line. And 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 I happened to be parked wait and I saw people running out and cops coming out and it was like all this stuff happening at the exact same time. What are the chances? Of three different people wanting to rob the same drugstore at the same time. That's we weird. must have been in the hood in Honolulu. I don't even know. That's so scary. I wonder if it was planned. You said Dutch in. I know, I know you right? Go you go. Hey, you well, at the time, spot. I didn't know what it was. I just saw some. I was driving. Do you know what I mean? I was driving. So I was like, do I leave my kid in the car with the heroin guy yeah. right there? Or, yeah. like, I didn't, a tough I, decision. I didn't yeah. think that there was three robberies going on at the yeah. same time. I didn't know, which is exactly what Blake said. When she gets in the car, really? You said Dutch in? <laughs> and I'm like, well, I, didn't know. I, go, I didn't know what was going on. She goes, did you see the guy with the golf club? I go, I saw a guy running out now. Now that you bring it up, I now I know that he had a golf club in his hand. <laughs> but who robs? Maybe he was just going to go golfing later. Right. Who Maybe robs a like... place with a golf club? That sounds like <laughs> you're on plan drugs. Anyway. It's not like you have. And I thought, and, and if I'm, I'm, you know, I'm six four. If I would have walked in there, I'm sure a golf club guy wanted to take me out. Definitely. Right? So, yeah. so I'm like, I think I made the right decision. Plus, you're okay now. It's not like, it's not like had I done another move, there's a good chance one of us wouldn't be okay. Like, we're, we're, and then I'm like lying in bed and her heart's beating. Like, she couldn't sleep. You know what I mean? Oh, like, she was I mean, freaked out. About, when oh, you think about scary. it, yeah. I know it's scary. It's like I know. terrifying. Yeah, it's like I'm telling you the story just telling it to you but when you live through that something like that mm-hmm. she was like yeah she was like blood pumping and everything you know